It's Chris Way with Riflecraft and Sniper's Hide. I'm going to talk about the hourglass effect, something that we can see, we can measure, and we can use it to assess performance metrics that we might want to take into consideration when choosing caliber, bullet weight, factory ammunition. But factory ammunition gives us a clear cut standard that we can use to apply and compare what we're doing and how we're doing it. In this case, the factory 100 grain Hornady ammunition shot at 3250. The Berger 156 was going 2590. It's when I put them in my rifles, my Accuracy International and my Kebleys, those speeds were maintained and they were consistent. So if I was going to buy that, I would have to use those characteristics to determine which one was right for the job. That's what I did. I shot 200 rounds and let's look at that data. Okay, I'm facing our shooting location which is 900 yards away. I was walking out 100 grain and 156 grain in strong winds. And as I was walking out, the 100 grain kept beating the 156. Coming out, coming out, the 156 needed more elevation and more wind. Now, when we got to 900 yards, you can see the target. This target is bladed and it milled out at about four tenths width. And those wind calls converged. The data shows that there is an hourglass effect when it comes to wind. It wouldn't line up in a Kestrel or a ballistic calculator. It did line up taking 200 data points, putting them into a graph and looking. I alternated shots, 100 grain, 156, 100, 156, 100, 156. Switch rifle did the same thing and looked which round hit where, which round hit where. The rifles were zeroed. The wind speeds were constant in a zone of however long it took to take a follow-up shot, six seconds. In doing that, I was able to see that the 100 grain Hornady outperformed the 156 Burger up to about 900 yards. So if I was shooting inside of 900 yards, the 100 grain Hornady had more wind resistance, even though the 156 has a higher BC. The higher BC going slower was outperformed by the lighter bullet with the smaller BC going 600 feet per second faster. In this case, I'll pick this one. In this case, I'll pick this one. When you know that, you can make informed decisions, you can plan, and you can perform your best. That's the whole goal of Riflecraft and Sniper's Hide, is to inform you and allow you to make your own choices, get your experience, gather data, and go be more effective. Come up with better forward-thinking ways of doing it, we can't always do that with the information that's there. We've got to collect our own data. So go get your data and start sharing it.